Welcome to the Proverbs 31 Ministries Morning Show, everyone. We are so glad that you are here. My name is Ashley Jackson, and I'm here with my coworkers and friends, Maddie Vincent and Nicole Moses. You guys, we're so excited to be here today. This is a very special episode of the Proverbs 31 Morning Show because this is our Christmas celebration and who doesn't love a good Christmas celebration? We're really glad you're here. I see people coming in from Woodlands, Texas, Montana, Pennsylvania, Cincinnati, Florida. Oh, someone is here from the Philippines. This is so exciting. Welcome to the morning show. Hi everyone, we hope that you're having a great Christmas season so far and that you're very excited for our Christmas morning show. I must have missed the memo. I didn't wear red. I'm so sorry, but I did bring with me my very special Christmas mug. It's got my little dogs with Santa hats on it. So did you guys bring a mug? Oh, and a Santa Claus. Santa and a snowman. I'm unsure if my Santa is winking or if he is just going blind because I think <laughs> he's tired. He's I think tired. it's a good, yeah, maybe he's tired. <laughs> I want to know what you guys, we have like a little office competition going on and who has the best Christmas mug. So you guys <laughs> leave a comment and let us know which one you like the best because yeah. <laughs> I would love to win this competition. So. Dogs and Christmas hats. That's got to win. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, that is cute. <laughs> you know, there's nothing I like more than a nice themed Christmas game. Anybody <laughs> else love a Christmas game? Oh, yes. So fun. Okay. I think you have planned a very fun Christmas game for us. Yes. And actually, before we do the game, I wanted to ask you one more question about your oh. favorite. And especially the people who are watching, because we kind of have a disagreement between the three of us about this topic. <laughs> so we also need your feedback on this. Okay. We need to know what is your favorite Christmas cookie? <laughs> okay. I will start because I have to, plead, I have to plead my case. Okay. <laughs> my favorite cookie, even Christmas cookie is chocolate chip. I think that you can't go wrong. I think that Santa Claus would love a chocolate chip cookie with a cold glass of milk, warm out of the oven. I think it's just better on on Christmas. And I need to know who else agrees. Any other chocolate chip lovers out there? A chocolate chip cookie is a great cookie. Do not get me wrong. I love a good chocolate chip cookie. However, it is not a Christmas cookie. This is, a chocolate chip cookie is a ch- cookie you can eat in like July. Oh, and, um, <laughs> it's not festive at all, Nicole. I think that that <laughs> argument is you can make that for any cookie, technically. But I think chocolate chip cookie, you make the dough, you make the dough with your grandma, you roll it out, you still use the cookie cutter. <laughs> it's still oh, new. Wait, 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 wait. So, okay, you put co- Christmas cookie cutters on the chocolate chip cookies? Well, I did try that this season and, okay. you know, you could not tell what they were, but it, I knew what they were. I knew. And they tasted good. So. And they tasted so good. So anyway, that's my favorite cookie. What about you, Ashley? Okay. So mine is a little bit of a classic too. There are a lot of good Christmas cookies. Let's, let's be honest. Yeah. And so if you guys have like a special a specialty Christmas cookie recipe. We need to know like what it's called mm-hmm. because um, leave that in the comments. There's so many good ones, but I love just the classic. I even brought one today. Just the oh. sugar cookie with the decorations on it because listen, there's it's twofold with these. You have fun making it one and then you have fun eating it too. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to call you out right now. Did you make that cookie? <laughs> Okay, the truth is I bought it at Starbucks. <laughs> I did not have fun making it, but I will have fun eating it. <laughs> Guys, Sandra says, if you eat any cookie on Christmas, it is a Christmas cookie. Thank oh. you, Sandra Lee. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay, I my favorite Christmas cookie is a shortbread candy cane cookie that I used to make with my mom. And you like split the dough and half the dough is dyed red and then half the dough is the white and you twist it into a candy cane. Oh, cute. I don't know if I, 
actually love the cookie as much as I love the memories that I had with the cookie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but to me, that's a Christmas cookie. It's festive. You only make it once a year. I love it. So that's a good one. I see there's a lot of people that have some good Christmas cookies. Somebody mm. said a red velvet crumble cookie. That sounds so mm. yummy. Yeah. One of those in my life. Yeah. That could be all of our favorite next year. So <laughs> that's all right. Well, that was that was so fun. Thank you guys for sharing. And um, we're going to be looking at all of those in the comments later. Um, but now we do want to play that game. It's going to be really fun. And it's going to combine, you know, technology with our love of Christmas carols. So are you guys ready? We need you to guess what you think the answer is in the comments. And actually, we're going to be choosing three people randomly um, to win a gift card to the Proverbs 31 Ministries um, bookstore. So wow. yeah. Wait, they're you know getting what? a gift card to the bookstore? Yes, and there's so many good things this year. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the sneaky thing about the Proverbs 31 Ministries bookstore. I am book nerd. I love books. But <laughs> I also love cute things. <laughs> and there are so many cute things. There's there are. Jewelry. Oh, my gosh. There's – can I win this gift card? <laughs> you I are want. excluded from winning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, there's this necklace that I really want from the bookstore. So if you win, please get the necklace. <laughs> yeah, that's a good, good option. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is right now we're going to put at the bottom of the screen the first one. This is a Christmas song. And you have to guess from the emojis what Christmas song this is. So are you ready? Here we go. Okay. I'm going to be looking in the comments to see who might guess it first. Let's see if anyone gets it. Do you guys have any guesses yet? Oh, I see someone said Silent Night. <laughs> oh, good job. That one's pretty easy. That was that was a good one. Okay. Get harder, ladies. Yes. Okay. So are you ready? Here is number two on your screen. Okay. I'm looking at the comments. Let's see here. See some great guesses. Is the answer joy to the world? <gasps> yes. Good job, everyone. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So now we're going to go to the next one. Let's put that one up. Anyone guessing yet? I'm not going to lie. My comments have gone blank. So <laughs> I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure people are guessing. Do you guys have any guesses for this one? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Maddie, what do you think? Um, I think it's silver bells. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Good job. Okay. All right. One more. Is the last one. I don't know. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right. Here's the last one. We're going to put it up now. Okay, I'm checking the comments out. Looks like we've still got some joy to the worlds coming in. Okay, okay, nice. <laughs> They're guessing on this. I'm watching for that answer for this this is set of. All emotions. right, I know because I know someone's gonna get guess this one. This is such a good song. Oh, it's the best song. Let's see. Mm -hmm, coming through. Is it Oh Holy Night? Yes, that's it. Great job, everyone. You know your emojis and you know your Christmas carols. So <laughs> great, great job. <laughs> um, if you won, you will hear from our friend Jasmine. She will get your information and we'll get you your Proverbs 31 bookstore gift card. Maybe you can get a last minute Christmas gift. Yeah, might be possible. That would be awesome. Yeah. Okay, I love that we ended on oh, oh Holy Night. And you guys know why. Because it is my matter? favorite Christmas song. Hmm. And honestly, it might even just be my favorite song. And I think it's such a good worship song that I don't even think you have to wait till Christmas to listen to it. You could just listen to it all year round. And it is such a good picture of who Jesus is and what his life meant for us. And I have a favorite lyric that I want to share with you guys from Oh Holy Night, which is a thrill of hope 
the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Mm. And I love this because I feel like Christmas season, as joyful and exciting as it is, it can also be filled with sorrows Mm -hmm. and sadness. And sometimes it's a really uncomfortable feeling when your sorrow intrudes on your celebration. And I understand this really deeply because this is the seventh Christmas that I have spent without my mom. She passed away seven years ago. Um, And I just deeply understand how hard it is to go into Christmas mourning a loved one. Um, And I know I just... I don't know if you guys understand how much we love you and how much we pray for you. Um, But we pray for you guys all the time. And we know that so many of you guys are walking through really, really hard things. So we wanted to spend a moment um, thinking about you guys, somebody who is maybe mourning the loss of a loved one, or maybe you are just mourning the loss of a dream or a relationship or what you thought your life would be. I see the comments coming in. So many people have lost their moms or their children or their husbands. And I ache for you. I know that this is so hard. And I know that when you wake up on Christmas morning, you might be tempted to say, how did my life become this way? How, how is this what I'm living? This is so hard. And um, we just wanted to spend some time giving you um, some encouragement and promises to hold on to if you're walking into Christmas feeling a little sorrowful or sad. So, Nicole, why don't you go first and share the verse that you picked for to share with everyone? Absolutely. Well, I know for me, so many of my days, I can just feel sort of out of control and that can be really overwhelming. Um, And it can just feel really scary, especially when you're in the midst of something that's really hard or um, just really hurts or maybe just something that's super unknown. Um, But God promises us to keep us in perfect peace. In Isaiah 26, 3, it says, you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts you. I love that so much because it kind of even gives us something to do. It's like, yeah. keep your mind on him. And that helps our peace. And sometimes I feel like, I, what do I do when I feel so unsettled? So I love that verse so much. Um, for me, sometimes I struggle with like loneliness um, because we moved to North Carolina and about two years ago. And my family either lives in Colorado or California. And we don't always can't get back for the holidays. And so sometimes it's just us, just our little family. And, you know, when you're used to celebrating with, I have um, three other siblings and all their kids and it's just like a big event. So it feels like sad and lonely. And it's hard, like on that day sometimes to think like, what are they doing without me? That's fun. (laughs) Or you just not being able to celebrate or have those traditions together. But God promises us that he will never leave us. So I wanted to share Deuteronomy 31, 6, and it says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord, your God goes with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. And I just love the idea that he is with us. He will comfort us in those times of feeling loneliness. If we are celebrating alone and that's hard, we can always remember that he is with us. Yeah, I love that, Ashley. I know that sometimes Christmas can be a reminder of what you don't have instead of what you have. And I know there are so many family situations that maybe aren't traditional or the perfect Christmas movie. And I think that verse that you just shared is such a comfort for somebody who maybe doesn't have a traditional family to spend Christmas with. Mm -hmm. Um, Sometimes in my life, I've just felt so much pain and heartbreak. And I love that God promises that he will always be with us and bring us comfort. And so I wanted to share Isaiah 41 10, which says, fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed, be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. 
I will help you and I will uphold you with my righteous hand. I just want to repeat that. He will strengthen you. He will help you and he will uphold you. He will comfort you in the season that might be painful for you. Um, we also didn't want to leave you there. So we want to share a resource. It's totally free. Um, and here's, here's what there's homework or an assignment for this resource. Um, we're going to share the link in the comments. Um, you can click on the link, you can get the download for free. And then I want you to print it out and stick it in your Bible. And when you wake up on Christmas morning, I want you to open your Bible and I want you to read these 10 promises that God gives to us in scripture. The resource is called 10 promises from God to remember when you feel forgotten. So you can download it completely free. It's our gift to you for Christmas. You can hold it close. You can read it on Christmas Eve or Christmas morning or the whole week leading up to Christmas. And you can remember that you are not forgotten, even in your deepest hurt and heartache and even in mourning and grief. Um, God is with you. He has not forgotten you. He hasn't forgotten you today. He hasn't forgotten you on a random Wednesday in April. And he has certainly not forgotten you on Christmas day because Christmas is the beginning of our pain being temporary. Mm. Please, please, please download it. And just remember that God has not forgotten you this Christmas season. Mm. That's so good. Well, we hope that this was encouraging to you all that having these scriptures read over you um, just gave you a little bit of truth to hold on to today and tomorrow and every day, even far past Christmas Day. So I would love to just pray over us all as well. Before we go, would you all pray with me? Awesome. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much just for humbling yourself, coming to dwell among us as a baby. Lord, I pray that we don't miss the significance of that, that you not only just know the hurt and the hardships that we face here on earth, but that you have lived it and experienced it too. I thank you for the birth of Jesus and the hope that we have because of it, the hope that we desperately need today, Lord. I pray for all of those entering this season of celebration, just with hurting hearts, weary souls, all of the people who are in the middle of sorrow or loss. Lord, I pray that we would remember the words of Psalm 3418 today that says, the Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Thank you, Lord for the way that you love us immensely, intimately, unconditionally. Help us remember that through anything we face this season, that you are with us and that we are loved. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Friends, thank you for tuning in. I'm really overwhelmed by the comments of just people asking for prayer. And so you left a comment will be in the comments later this afternoon just praying for everybody that's just hurting this Christmas season um we hope that you have a Merry Christmas and a really blessed new year and we can't wait to be back with you in the morning show in January of 2022 yeah we just want to let you guys know if this has been an encouragement for you we really pray that it has um we are going to start doing two morning shows um a month And so we are going to be back for our next show on Thursday, January 13th. And we would love to invite you to join us again for that. Uh, We can't wait. We hope that you guys have a blessed Christmas and we will see you next time. Bye everyone. Bye.